go home. That's it. Christianity has been misused for hundreds of years to keep your people in subjugation. And I'm speaking now a, a reality that the history books do not record, but history does. Christianity was used because if I said, okay, you don't believe the way I believe, and Christianity is the best way to believe, so I'm going to take you, and it's going to be for your own good, honey. It's going to be for your own good. I'm going to take you, and I'm going to tear away everything about you and just keep your hands and your feet because they can help me getting off. But I'm going to do this for your own good because I'm going to give you a God. Now, what does that God look like? Um, Uh-oh. The reality of it is when he came here, he didn't look, look like me. So what am I going to do about that? I'm going to make him look like me. So for hundreds of years, we've been telling you, and now you have to keep in mind that we took away any other God that you might have through force, through fear, through pain, through uh, uh, any means necessary. So now I'm going to give you a God, but I'm going to do that in a way that is going to further me. So I'm going to give you a God that looks like me so that when you bow down to that God, you're bound down to me. And Because I, wa- I wasn't hearing these things. Because the Bible tells us what Jesus looked like when he walked here. The Bible tells us what he's going to look like when he comes back. We have taken that and changed it. Do you remember when Jesus went to Egypt? He hid in Egypt. The people in Egypt, honey, they're they're not white people. How could he hide that? See, so that we've done that. We've given your people a God that looks like me so that you don't have any qualm about bowing down to me. See, because this is the image of God. I don't know of any sin that we've committed that's greater than that one. And we did it with the Bible in our hands when we were beating your ancestors for looking at us eye to eye. And we're quoting to them from this scripture. Even if if we allowed them to have their own ministers, which there wasn't many of because we didn't allow them to read. But if we said, okay, you can have your church. It's my plantation. I'm going to do what I want with it. You can have your church. But then spies were sent. And those spies would stand outside the church and that man would be beaten, perhaps killed, if he preached anything other than three sermons and those three sermons were turn the other cheek obey your master and it's going to get better one of these days God's going to take care of all of it you're going to be in a happy happy land so put up with what you're putting up with now and we made your people preach that to your people and it's still being done It's still being done. Those are the sermons that your people hear. Those sermons are what causes your people to comfort me when I do something that's wrong. 